Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest, as the disease is now under control. Captain Hannah Shepard has apparently turned down an Admiral Star and will remain in command of the Orizaba. The captain deemed her promotion to Admiral a political ploy and said that she could best honor her child's legacy by captaining a ship. An independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Toombs and testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. The Tyrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shanxi. The Tyrian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Turian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. The prison ship Purgatory has been destroyed following an apparent riot. Security ships are en route to the area to retrieve prisoners and guards from life pods. Serta Foundation is likely to close by the end of this fiscal year. The Foundation never recovered from a deadly attack by biotic extremists on one of its medical centers two years ago. An exogeny archaeological team has been reported missing. They were last seen in the IAEA cluster's Enoch system, an area of heavy pirate activity. Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Batarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. Shipping lanes near Omega were recently hit by a series of deadly raids. Merchant fleets are being asked to resynchronize their IFF protocols. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Alliance veterans. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, may be leaving the Citadel after years of bad press and rumors of intelligence leaks. Alliance listening posts report new ship activity at the edges of Geth space. Geth ships appear to be migrating into clusters, pending a possible migration or attack. Alliance vessels are reinforcing border clusters as a precautionary measure. All businesses using security mechs have been asked to check their systems for a potentially deadly virus that can disable targeting safeties and friend or foe identification. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. The recent attack on Horizon has other Council species looking to their own security. The Turian fleet is reportedly bolstering its crew complement, while the Salarian Special Tasks Group is reportedly investigating the colony attacks. Blue Sun's mercenaries in the Decora system took heavy losses fighting against unspecified criminal groups, according to leaked reports. A Blue Sun's representative declined to comment. Mech attacks have increased as a programming malfunction virus spreads. Experts warn of the accompanying danger of poorly programmed security VIs being overzealous in protecting themselves from infection. A Synthetic Insights representative stressed that this is a standard VI processing error, not an indication of an AI threat similar to the Geth. A series of Krogan and Vorcha attacks on groups in the Crescent Nebula has raised concerns among residents. A Krogan businessman on Ilium, Mr. Thax, suggested the attacks were tied to deadly blood pack mercenaries. The Caden Alenko Memorial Scholarship has begun sending gifted human biotics to the Ascension Project for care and training. Alenko, a graduate of the controversial Biotic Acclimation and Temperance Training Project, sacrificed his life to help stop Saren on Vermeer. The virus affecting mechs galaxy-wide was evidently born in a Hain Kedar mechanics facility, the result of the misuse of faulty and recalled processors in experimental mech designs. Hain Kedar representatives declined to comment. The Council is preparing an investigation with possible criminal charges to follow. According to sources, 
Whatever former Commander Shepard is doing, it involves surrounding himself with criminals, killers, mercenaries, and other dangerous elements. We at Galactic News hope that Commander Shepard consents to give us an interview and explain where he's been and what he's doing. Later today, we interview Counselor Anderson. The tireless former soldier has put down his guns to build bridges with numerous trade treaties. Tune in and find out what the man behind Commander Shepard's rise to fame thinks is the greatest threat to intergalactic stability. Remains of a weapons facility have been found in the Shecha system. It's believed the facility was operated by deadly blood pack mercenaries. Alliance officials are reporting strange energy readings from the Omega-4 relay. While no ships have ever returned after going through the relay, scans suggest it has been used recently. Alliance officials are on alert. The crashed exploration vessel, Estevanico, has finally been discovered deep in the Terminus systems. As expected, there were no survivors. Crews have been dispatched to salvage relics from the crash site for exhibition in the Alliance Museum of Galactic Exploration on Earth. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter.